so that's what we want. We want them to be allies. And because player uh, because we'll be spawning the Zerglings as player 15, it's already going to be hostile, so it doesn't matter. And now we want to make our new trigger. So right-click on the left area and go New Trigger. And let's call this Periodic Spawn. And before we actually do anything yet, let's go back to here and Control w go back to our knit trigger and make trigger run trigger so we just want to run uh, and click on trigger and change it to periodic spawn so we're just going to run our periodic spawn trigger right when the game starts so that uh, so that it'll create some zerglings right away and periodic spawn what it's going to do is to have the event of timer periodic event and let's say every 30 seconds of real time so it doesn't vary um, between game speeds. Um, so this event is only going to happen every 30 seconds. So the reason that we do this trigger run thing here is so that it runs at zero, zero seconds or right when the game starts. If if this wasn't here, then uh, this wouldn't start till 30 seconds into the game and that might be kind of slow for people. So you want to kick their butt really fast. So let's spawn them right away. Uh, so let's actually do the spawning now. Uh, so uh, I'm going to check uh, the uh, food count of, of of player 15 before spawning just to make sure that we don't have too many units in the map so I just did an if condition I just did an if action and then in here I press control W and I did I uh, selected comparison and we're gonna make this if statement click the left bracket here and we're gonna make it do uh, player player property so we're gonna check that player player change the triggering player to value 15 so check hostile players uh, supplies used is less than or equal to let's say 100 so zerglings give cost 0.5 supply each so that's 200 zerglings in the map I think that's um, a fair enough amount to limit the game to make so it's gonna if if there's less than a hundred supplies used for player 15 then it's going to control W on then it's going to uh, unit create units facing angle. We're going to create five. Uh, click on unit and change, search for zergling. Create five zergling for player and change player to player 15 at point point one. Facing uh, function math random angle. I think that just looks nicer. And then copy paste this so and change this to point from point one to point two. So now we spawn five at point one and five at point two. Um, as long as it's uh, every 30 seconds, as long as the supplies is under 100. Uh, so if players aren't killing anything and zerglings are racking up, it won't just go to like a billion zerglings on the map and lag everybody out. And one thing I'm also going to do is uh, player set, modify player property. I mean, we're going to modify player 15's uh, handicap. Uh, add. We're going to add 3%. It's just, it's percent, just so you know. Um, so every time a wave spawns, the handicap goes up, so it gets harder and harder and harder as the game progresses. So it should should hopefully match the players getting better and better, or getting new guns or whatever your map does. Um, and now what we need to do is order the actual units. So I'm going to do this in a new trigger for a specific reason. reason uh, periodic order. So this one's going to be have the event of timer periodic every uh, 15 or uh, let's make it every 10 of real time so it doesn't vary um, the shorter you do this the more laggy your maps gonna be like you don't want to do this every 0.5 seconds but the farther away you do this the more your units are gonna be sent in the wrong direction and I'll show you why in a second so um, every 10 seconds of real time we're gonna do a new action you, you unit group. We're going to pick each unit in unit group. So instead of last created units, we're not going to go through the last created units because there was none. Uh, we're going to go through uh, unit group, units in region, match, and condition. So we're going to pick each unit, any unit in the entire map owned by player 15. So we're going to pick, we're going to pick all the zerglings. But uh, the reason I'm doing any unit here is because uh, some people's maps might have Zerglings, Hydralis, whatever spawning, so I don't want to discriminate. And I'd rather show that you can order any type of unit to do this. Um, I just want to be general so that it can apply to a lot of people's maps, hopefully. 
Uh, so we want to pick any uh, units in the entire map owned by player 15 and that aren't dead, missile, or hidden with at most any mount. And what we want to do for each of these units, we want to control W inside here. We want to unit uh, I issue order. So we want to order and change trigger unit to picked unit because we're picking each unit here. So it's going to refer to that picked unit or aka all 50 zerglings in the map. Um, so order picked unit to and click on the left bracket here to change it to an order targeting point. And the reason I'm doing attack move to a point and not attack directly to a unit is because if these two players were clumped together and one guy was blocking the ramp and all the all the zerglings had been ordered to attack the unit behind him, then uh, they basically just try and idle around him. And so the reason I'm attack moving is that if they all get ordered to attack this guy, say this guy was standing back here, if they all get ordered to attack move to him, they're still going to attack this guy on the way, which I think is a, a more ideal behavior to have rather than have them all run around him to go attack this guy. Um, so anyways, back in trigger. So we're going to order them to ability command, click on it and switch it to attack. We're going to order them to attack targeting, uh, so target point, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. So function, unit, position of unit, and we're going to change the triggering unit to be unit group, closest unit to point, closest unit to unit position of pick unit. So it's going to order it's going to order this each it's going to order each zergling to attack the the closest unit to each zergling in any units in the entire map owned by player any player because we could be player 1 2 3 4 5 or however many uh, players you have in your map. Um, and here matching, we want to make sure it's uh, value. It's going to look for heroic acquired. That's why we set that heroic thing earlier. And we want to Exclude dead, exclude item, exclude invulnerable, exclude hidden. This is pretty important. Exclude missile, and you can, if you want to do more, you can. I think that's good enough for now, though. Okay. Uh, let's scroll this up a bit. There we go. Uh, with at most any amount, and replace the existing order. So what this is going to do is every 10 seconds, it's going to, go through each circling in the map. So this is a loop. It's going to go through, it's going to pick uh, each circling in the map. So that'll be like, it's going to do this for, if there's 50 circling in the map, it's going to do it 50 times. And for each of those circling, it's going to order it to attack targeting the position of the closest unit um, to the position of this circling. So, but that unit has to be a hero. And uh, one thing to watch out for here is that you don't make any heroic uh, zombies because this would accidentally make them attack move to their own zombies uh, which you wouldn't want so uh, this is kind of a jumble here but what it, it does work and it will make them attack move to the closest enemy hero which would be your your heroes every 10 seconds so if your hero does move and they're still going towards your old position hopefully by 10 seconds later they'll be updated to move to wherever you're going and if you make their run speed a bit faster than your heroes then they can catch up um, and most people like to camp in these type of maps, so they're gonna all, they're never gonna be able to run around infinitely away from them. Um, so yeah, so this works. And one thing we want to do is go back to our periodic spawn, and actually let's go back to melee and copy this trigger thing, and paste it in right here, and change it to run periodic order. So uh, when you spawn the units, it's gonna run this as well because you don't want to spawn the units and then nine seconds later or ten seconds later this trigger is going to run you want this uh, you want them to be ordered you could just do an order thing right after these but uh, I'd rather just call and just to save myself time we're just gonna call this trigger here run it and it's gonna go here and then it's gonna order all the units so um, so this will be running every 10 seconds and after every spawn too uh, and that keeps things simple